Okay, let's look inside the wallet. I love Nooked. Meet you here at dusk. I love letter from Elena to Mike. That sounds like... What? It's this where they consort it behind Veronica's back. <gasps> okay, this is getting juicy now, guys. So... Mark is two-timing. <laughs> the sisters! I could use this sticker. Wow. So they both have a motive now. Very good motive. In killing Veronica. So... Sticker card? A sticker card. Can we try it here? Wait, what is that again? That is a sticker. Needs something hard to glue it off. Like removing the glue? Okay. Poison result, love letter. What else can we do? Maybe the lights? Use a sticker card. Oh. Interesting. Oh, one more. We need the sticker. So... Hot coffee! Maybe that will work. The steam from the coffee. Alright, lights on. I need a number code. Then we got a whole bunch of keys. Must find all the keys to make sure not to miss the right one. Got a 3. 30. How can I handle the problem? Find the key. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, a pen? A blue pen. Mm, oh, draw the happy face! Room 28. Ward number 28. Cabinet handle. 15. Is that all? Which is Elena's room number? I don't know. Okay, looks like we can find the code. 429. 429. Is that a smartphone code? Where is the smartphone? Here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't remember this. Alright. I think I can remember. There we go. ICU patient's room number, Elena Gore, 28. We found her room number. Great detective work. Good job. <laughs> uh, alright, enough. Caduce assigned. The room key. Okay, we can pick uh, the key up, right? 28. Ambulance. There. Oh, here, the sticker. It is screwdriver. A CD. Caduce aside. So, this is room number 28. Elena. What is she doing? Oh, no. Whoa! Help. She's poisoned too! Doctor, quickly! 
the doctor looking kind of uh, shady there. The back glance. She's in V-fib. Quick, detective, bring me the epi kit. Hurry. What? In the supply room, the red metal case with the syringe sign on it. The key card is in my pocket. Okay. Got the key card. Help Elena, the, the objective. Kit. Hurry. Can I look around first? Who brought her back in here? Did Stan come for a visit? Hmm. Bring me the epi kit. Okay, Hurry. okay, okay. Okay. The key card. Here is the office. Is the doctor the only one working in the hospital right now? <laughs> he is the only one. There are no nurses around. No other staff members. Uh, O2 with the mask. Oxygen gas. Okay, the whole kit. Now take it to the doctor. The epi kit. Ah, oh, bravo, detective. Now hand me the sterile gauze. Injection now. How crazy is that there are no noses around? Quickly, the EpiPen. That I'm doing this right now. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this. But I am. Oh, she's breathing. Excellent. The oxygen mask? Okay, we revived her. That's good. That's it. Breathe, Elena. Breathe. She's stable. For now. It seems that Elena has been poisoned, but I can't tell the toxin. Veronica had the same green lines around her lips. I found this toxin in her DNA. The poison result? How can we know it's the same one? <laughs> My bag. The lipstick. The lipstick? Could that be the poison? The poison is inside the lipstick. Who gave you the lipstick, Lilena? Maybe Mike? Mike. A scratch photo of Mike? Wonder why? MB has his initials on it. A lipstick, a poisonous lipstick, of course. Well, we definitely need to do some testing on this to make sure that's the one. I'll check it out. Doctor? Elena, don't worry. Our good police detective will keep you safe. Police? Oh no. Veronica, is she dead? I'm afraid so. The investigation is in progress. I'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. It would help me. I'll do what I can. Threat, compassion, and humor. Hmm, definitely compassion. The right thing to do. Can we choose compassion? The necklace, the watch, and the love letter will be presented to Elena during this interrogation. Okay, we need those objects. Interrogate Elena about Veronica's death using the specific items you have, you have found during the investigation. Choose the correct form of addressing her between threat Compassion and humor in order to get a straight answer from her. 
Okay, do I pick one now? Uh, please, would you be so kind to explain me why Veronica only kept photos of you and Mark in her favorite medallion? Your father wasn't among her favorites. Mark adored Veronica, but her and me, we were alright. But after my mother passed away, we got close. Still, Veronica never liked our father. Stan, she called him. Never dad. Never father. Interesting. Oh, we got that right, guys. And the watch. Um, it's time to come clean, Elena. This is Veronica's wristwatch. It stopped when she fell into the water. What were you doing at that time? Was it you who pushed her? Or maybe Mark did the foul deed. The foul deed. Humor. Luckily for us, the watch wasn't waterproof, so we now have the time for Veronica's death. Where were you when she hit the water? I think that is the right question. This isn't funny at all. What? How is this question funny? <laughs> Elena? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm serious. Alright, I'm threatening her then. <laughs> if that's what you want. Mark was making a new round of cocktails in the bar when Veronica went on the deck to catch some fresh air. Suddenly, something exploded. Fire, smoke. It was awful. I must have passed out because I don't remember anything else. Okay, the love letter. So, Mark, I couldn't help but notice he is a good looking guy. Do you still think so, or was that just a minor flirt you had with him? Humor. That's in the past. I'm. I was in love with Mark. I'm not anymore. That's Mark's office. We used to meet there. We weren't doing anything bad, just talking. Hmm. Do we trust her, guys? She telling the truth. Okay, Thread. Who gave you the makeup, the new one that was used to poison Veronica? Was it Mark? Tell me or you'll be charged for obstruction of justice. Compassion. One more question, Elena and we are done. Have you and Veronica changed your brand of makeup recently? A new line of product, maybe? Humor, sometimes it is better not to change the makeup brands, would you agree? Or... That is stupid. <laughs> but the makeup obviously has Mark's initial on them, right? Those lipsticks. Compassion. Yes, a special line of lipstick which Mark made as a present especially for Veronica and me. Uh -huh. Mark insisted that we wear it tonight. Aha! Uh -huh. Thank you, Elena. The poison came from Mark. At least originally came from Mark. Maybe the lipsticks got tampered with. Okay, we got Mark's small factory. This is where he is now. It's the same poison. I've got the antidote. She'll be alright, but she needs to rest. Alright, Doctor. Take good care of her. I should take a look at the evidence I've collected. Alright. So, we got some new ones now. Elena Gore, Veronica's sister, attacked by a deadly poisonous lipstick, same type of poison as used on Veronica. And the lipstick coated with a poison called histamine. Scratch marks like someone was angry at him. Possible Elena did the scratching. Hmm, this is interesting, guys. Uh, meeting place for Elena and Mark, Veronica is the co owner of the firm. The firm is a factory. And Elena says it's in the past if Veronica had found out possible murder motive for Mark. Okay. The motive. Obviously the love notes. Suspects. Uh, Mark Branton. Elena Gore is also a suspect, guys. No? <laughs> Come on now. Maybe she's lying. We don't have any lie detector kid right now. Is she a witness? She's a victim? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she injected the poison into the lipstick herself. 
I wouldn't call her a victim yet. That is too early. Okay, the lipstick is the weapon. Unknown building, the factory is the location. Elena isn't telling me everything, but someone did try to kill her. 